special delivery. I just got my delivery of some custom shapes that I ordered to use as prop stands. So I thought we would do the unboxing together and then I'm gonna show you guys how I prep and paint these for a behind the scenes photo shoot. All right, let's dig in. So I ordered these from a company called Craft Cuts. And if you guys wanna stick around until the end of the video, I'll do a quick screen share of the website, show you the selections I made so that in case you wanna order the same or something similar, you know exactly where to go for that. So I actually ended up ordering two custom shapes. And let's see what everything is looking like. All right, so I got two of these half sphere items. Um, I forget how thick they are, but I'll check the order when I'm showing you guys how to order these. Um, and I thought we could use this to make a little staircase for our product. And then I also got three of these. They're slightly thinner, but I got three spheres to kind of make like a three tier staircase for another product. So these are made of the MDF material. They're not solid wood. Uh, so they're nice and lightweight to work with and very easy to paint. So let's take these out to the garage and I'll show you guys what supplies I use to prep these for our photo shoot. Welcome to the garage. Let's gather our supplies. So for our photo shoot demo, we're going to be using these thinner spheres that I mentioned. The first thing that I'm gonna do is grab this sanding block and just kind of rough up the surface and the edges of each of these. That way the paint sticks really nicely to them. And there's a couple different paints that I recommend. If you wanna just paint your props white, which is really good and it makes it easy to change them to another color in Photoshop, I recommend this white matte finish can. Uh, but for this particular shoot, I did want more of a pink color. So I have this light pink can and it is a paint and primer. So no need to cover the surface with white first. So let's go ahead and get these painted so they can start drying and then we'll head back into the studio for the demo. All right, team, we're back in the studio, ready to take a picture with our freshly painted props. Check out how these turned out. So we've got our three beautiful light pink spheres here that we're gonna use to build a little staircase to put our product on. And then for our product, we're gonna be featuring this beautiful pink can of raspberry lemonade kombucha. Of course, I've got some raspberries and fresh lemon slices to use as props or accents. So let's get into building our scene. All right, so let's go ahead and start by creating our staircase with our custom pieces here. And what I'm going to do is have the second step here slightly back. It's not gonna be perfectly centered on this first one because I want the size of the step to be a little bit larger. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing with our top one. And that's just gonna give us some more room to put our fruit accents. And then we'll go ahead and place our product right there in the center. And that's looking good. All right, and real quick, I'm actually gonna spray down our can with a little bit of water and glycerin just to help make it look nice and hydrating. Sometimes I like to spray really gently up close to the can just to get some larger droplets. Now let's go ahead and add our fruit accents. We'll start with the raspberries and I'm just gonna have a couple accents on each step and I'm thinking having, of having them alternate kind of on this side for the top step, we'll move to this side, and then finally on the right-hand side for the bottom step, and then we can kind of adjust from there. So let's just start with that, and then set those aside, bring in our lemons, and see what we can do with these. Now I'm noticing that these two raspberries are facing the exact same direction. So just to add a little bit more interest, let's try shifting the position of at least one of them. That looks pretty good actually. Maybe we'll go with that. And actually this raspberry is looking a little sad. Let's replace him with, here's a smaller one. 
yeah, I think that looks great. So here is our final image after a little bit of Lightroom and Photoshop editing. As you can see, it didn't take us a whole lot of time to customize these shapes and they really help elevate the image without the need for a lot of props. So just in case you guys are interested in seeing how I kind of built these custom shapes and what specs I selected, let's head over to the computer really quick so I can show you what that looked like. All right, so here we are on the Craft Cuts website and to order my custom shapes, I came on over here to decor and then I selected craft shapes and then came right down here to this basic craft shapes section. So the first one I selected was this circle craft shape and I'm just realizing that I was calling them spheres throughout that entire video. So I think my brain was just broken. But anyway, for material, I chose the MDF option and then I got three of these. So for the longest dimension, I had an eight inch and then I also selected a six and a four inch. So let's just select the eight inch for this one. And then for the thickness, I selected the half inch option. And then let's just go back so I can show you the half circle shape that was this one right here. And then I selected MDF, same material as the full circle. And then I selected a six inch and a nine inch option. But those were my selections. As you can see, they've got lots of different shapes that you can choose from depending on your project. Uh, so hopefully this was helpful. That is it for this one. I also have a really fun tutorial for you guys on how I used the half sphere shapes to create this image right here. So be sure to click here, check out that video. I have it linked for you in the description below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.